back on the attack. Uh, South Park and Society, Cine 399. We're going to watch an episode, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite episodes uh, of South Park, The Hobbit. I just... I still laugh my ass off at this. I love any time they, um, they pound on Kanye West, um, I get great, great, great joy from it. But I thought that this episode, other than the elements of parody and um, talking about Kim Kardashian, makes a really great, great critique on social media, on our image and how we manufacture image and then how the manufactured image influences society and there's this whole trickle down effect from the people who are influencers and the people who um, you know uh, you know are in the media and who are really have a huge influence on us these people that um, South Park wants to deconstruct to take off their pedestal because they fucking hate celebrities although they are celebrities um, in many ways so uh, yeah, we're going to watch this episode uh, called The Hobbit. Uh, this is a classic. This is a brilliant piece. I love it. You may, you may not like it. Um, but um, basically, it's a whole satire on body image and how the body is constructed. And I think this is just so vital when we're talking about carnivalesque, right? And the incomplete body. And we have this in so, so many ways uh, that manifest in so many different episodes of South Park about the incomplete body or in the grotesque body. In this case, Kim Kardashian, who we actually never see in, in the episode. We just know that, you know, she goes out and kills dragons and hangs out with wig wizards and, and uh, drinks grog <laughs> and turns, turns blue, <laughs> um, you know, whatever. So let's watch this. So it's about, you know, how, how the media shapes, you know, body image and self-perception and all that. And I, you know, it's a, it's a great turn. Like all the boys have their girlfriends who they walk around with their phones and show pictures, you know, manufactured images of, of their girls while their girls are right, right with them. Um, you know, which is pretty interesting, but it's one of the ways that we can look at like how consumers view themselves and how the media distorts that view. You know, the role that the media um, plays in distorting how we perceive ourselves through advertisements, through social media, through film and TV, and how it distorts, you know, concepts of ourselves, how it creates us and how it also recreates us, you know. And I think, you know, we talk about, like, the grotesque body, incomplete body. I mean, just watch how... Um, you know, Wendy, who is the feminist um, of South Park, you know, she is the feminist perspective in South Park and so vital in that, you know, um, uh, you know, recreates Lisa Berger and then at the end recreates herself, you know. I think what really becomes like an important thing is that our self-image is like just used to be something that was kind of in here, like you know, we'd look at ourselves in the mirror and all that, and we would construct a self-image based upon that. This episode delves into the role of social media, how our self-image maybe isn't inside here, but it's on our phone. It's, it's, it's how, how we're perceived when you look through reflections of us and our identity and us as like, you know, visualized um, beings and, and, you know, political, you know, body as being a, a site of, political, you know, political site, you know, not for voting and stuff, but where it's a contested, where, where body parts are contested and transformed, you know, I think it's, it's, you know, a lot of it's done, done, done through this and how we have notions of other human beings is, is how we, we see, see them here. Okay. But you know, how is our body, bodies often consumed by other people, not in the physical world, you know, it's in the digital world, in the social media. That's, you know, our, who we are and how we look and our image is consumed through a thumb, you know, swipe, swiping. So it's just a pretty interesting commentary um, on, on that. Okay. So pay attention to some of the elements of parody in this. Who does Lisa Berger become? Who, does, who are they mocking and maybe a little, little less indirect? This may be more of an illusion, as we'll talk about next class when we talk about intertextuality. 
but pretty much alluding to Britney Spears and Britney Spears' you know, comeback. You gotta work, bitch, you know. <laughs> you gotta work out, slut, you know, where she does that, that part. We obviously have a parody of, of the Pope, uh, Pope Francis, who's the time person of the year that year, and as he's about to accept his award, Kanye West, which he did to Taylor Swift, um, you know, jumps on stage and steals the mic to defend that Kim Kardashian is not, in fact, a hobbit. Um, you know, it's pretty, pretty great. And then uh, the Pope manifests as the uh, hobbit trivia bitch, I believe, <laughs> is what it is. Um, yeah, but anyways, I also think the great element of parody in this episode is, um, is the Bound To music video. Oh my gosh. I mean, that music video is so bad um, in general. Uh, like, with Kanye and Kim on the motorcycle with the green screen and then how they, they, they clown on that. I just love it. Um, so, we'll watch this episode. Think about the carnivalesque. Think about satire in this. And then we'll come back and we'll chop it up a bit about it. Mm.